I'm really obsessed with the Gemini CLI. I just gave a single prompt and based on that, it wrote all the code for me, installed all the required packages. Also, it helped me run the server for me. Ended up creating this application, which is a URL shortener application, where I provide a URL like this and it shortens for me. And this is a competitor to Claude Code. I've been working with Claude Code for the past few weeks and that is amazing. And considering we have Gemini with 1 million context token, which means you can feed in the whole repo or the code base and it understands everything. So you can either start from the beginning or you can feed in the existing code base. So I'm going to take you through step by step how you can install this, set it up on your computer, build the application, integrate with existing application and all the list of features. Let's get started. So in my case, I'm going to use cursor. You can use any code editor of your choice. This also nicely integrates with the code editor. So I've opened the terminal, which you can open from your computer. There I'm going to do npm install hyphen g at google slash gemini hyphen cli. So this is the installation command. So as a prerequisite, you need to install npm on your computer. You can find the installation step in npmjs.com. I'll put the link in the description for you to download and install. So once after you install npm, then you can install this Gemini CLI like this and then click enter. This is the only required package. Now you can see that this got installed. Next, go to aistudio.google.com. There you can generate your API key from here. Click get API key and generate one. So I'm creating API key here. Next, I'm exporting Gemini API key like this and then click enter. Also to note that this is the open source AI agent. 60 model requests per minute, 1000 model requests per day, available for free of charge. So two things this could easily beat Claude Code. One is that it's available for free of charge up to a limit. Then it has massive 1 million token context window to include your whole code base. The open source code is also available in GitHub. Now the basic setup is done. Now it's time to get started. So in your terminal, just type Gemini and then click enter. And that brings up this Gemini. And for the first time, it will ask you to set up the theme of your choice. So once after you set your theme, then you will have an interface like this. And here you can see it's using Gemini 2.5 Pro. So let's see the list of options available here. So it's same as Claude code. You are able to chat with your code base. You are able to add MCP. You are able to store and restore and retrieve memory. You are able to integrate this with your external editor, such as cursor, Vincer for VS Code. You are able to authenticate either using API key or using your Google account. If you have already purchased this Google AI Pro or Google AI Ultra, then you are able to understand the stats, how much token used, how much it costs by typing slash stats. You can choose your theme by typing slash theme. If your code base is larger than 1 million context token, then you can even compress your code base by typing slash compress. And that is a quick list of commands. So in our case, first we are going to try to create an application from scratch. So I'm going to create a URL shortener, same like bit.ly. So here's the instruction, build a REST API in Node.js Express to create short URLs, redirect and track click counts, provide open API spec and tests. So after this, I'm going to click enter. So same like Claude code, first it goes to the planning step and here is the plan. The technology stack, core API endpoints and the development process. So everything is detailed. Now I can approve this and also allow to use NPM. So clicking allow always. So now it's initialized the package, installing all the required components. You can see the progress here. So now it's asking me if I want to use an external editor or just use the terminal itself. For now, I'm going to choose terminal. S allow always. Allowing other commands as well. And this takes the application development to the next level. As very smooth process as well. You can see automatically the code is getting added. Also, it's creating the tests as we've requested before. So here's the test code and the main code here. Everything well done. Now it's testing as well. After building the application, it's automatically running the test for me. If I want to cancel any run at any point, I can just type escape or press escape and it, it'll work for me. Now, after creating the application, I can just say run this application. And now it's asking me to confirm 
now I can see the application here in localhost 3000 and I can see the long URL provider that is google.com. I can try it directly from here and then execute to test it. And here's the execution. So I can just copy this URL shortened and going to open it and it automatically re redirects to google.com. So it is working perfectly fine. Now escape to cancel and I can type backslash exit or quit and you can see the total stats here total tokens usage total duration total duration wall that is really nice and i'm super impressed with this even if you want to refer any files you can just type at and then it lists all the files so i can choose the file and i can just say explain me and it explains what that application is i can even drag and drop here it is the same and i really like this interface one thing I'm expecting that integrating this with GitHub Actions or GitLab. Do let me know in the comments below if you found any solution. Also, let me know what you think about this. Considering you already like Gemini CLI, I also created another video about Cloud Code CLI, which I highly recommend for you to watch. I'll put the link in here and I will see you there.